But first tonight, face masks. They are now mandatory in Palm Beach County. That decision came today unanimously as COVID-19 cases continue to rise. WPTV News Channel 5's Matt Zezzi looked into how effective different types of masks can be for public safety. The best thing to say is that any face covering will do at this point. Dr. Shady Salib at Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center spoke to us outside at a safe distance to explain why he thinks face masks are important. In the last 10 minutes we had the conversation, there's millions of droplets that we just that came out of our mouth and our nose and our saliva. Hard to see, hard to imagine, but studies are revealing a lot about how COVID-19 is spreading and how face masks can prevent it. The effectiveness can really have a wide uh, variation, so anywhere from 5% effective to 90%. Dr. Charles Murphy is with Jupiter Medical Center. It seems to be important what material is included. Cotton is probably the most used material. Uh, the thread count of the cotton can be important, uh, with the higher thread counts being more effective. This video from the University of Illinois shows the difference between a single layer t-shirt material and a double layered one. Doctors say the mask can also prevent infection from the virus particles left on surfaces. They can go and stick to surfaces for a few hours. So if I happen to touch it, I'm not wearing a mask and I rub my nose or I cover or I touch my mouth, there you go, you got the infection, you don't even know it. The most effective face mask, the N95, is still in short supply. The doctors say among the face coverings for the general public, these sunscreen neck scarves are among the least effective, whereas the multi-layered surgical masks or multi-layered homemade masks can work very well. In Jupiter, Matt Sesney, WPTV, News Channel 5.